Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is time for another whiskey review. And I have a bottle today that I was so excited to get. If you guys know me, you know how much I love Orphan Barrel. I love Orphan Barrel, but does this bottle live up to my hype? Well, I'm about to tell you, so cheers to you guys. Thank you for being here. Ah, let's dive in. Let me first tell you about the bottle right here because a lot of people are like, what the heck is that bottle? Tell me more. So this is Orphan Barrel's newest release. It's called Scarlet Shade. It is a 14 year straight rye and it is 90 proof. So this one is aged or not aged in Indiana. So this one is from Indiana, so MGP, but then it was actually aged at Stitzel Weller. So that's pretty cool. I think that's really cool. Yeah, 14 year rye, so it's a 95.5 rye from MGP that was then aged at Stitzel Weller. So now that you guys got I got the rundown on this bottle, let's talk about it. Oh, I'm excited to share my review. Here we go, on the nose. On the nose, it smells fantastic. On the nose, it's creamy, very creamy. It's lightly oaked, like a toasted vanilla oak. Buttery, buttery, like vanilla, almost like a vanilla bean ice cream with like light like nut shavings on top of it like um pe pecans yeah <laughs> I almost said pe 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 pa 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 pecan ones pecans where i'm from we call them pecans but yes it smells like shaved pecans pecans on top of vanilla bean ice cream maybe even with like a little birthday cake in there like a vanilla birthday cake with some like buttercream frosting ah oh, smells very good i like the light like there's like a light um not what is that like a light brown sugar but that's not the note i'm going for here um there's a specific spice that i'm thinking of it's like a spice that i would put on banana bread it's kind of like an allspice not a lot of cinnamon but a light amount of cinnamon Ugh, overall, the nose is very fantastic. It's great. It really is on the nose. Very good on the nose. Now let's taste it. Here we go. Oh, there is so much going on with that in the palate. Like right up front is that burst of that vanilla buttercream, caramelized sugar, vanilla. Yeah, well, I said vanilla buttercream, but like vanilla. Then you get this light oakiness that is so, is like a sweet vanilla oak that sits all the way through it that definitely tastes aged. It, if you like oak, you'll like this. Well, if you like oaky rye. This is a very oaky rye, very oak forward, but it's not bitter. It's not bitter at all. And there's like actually even some like fruitiness on there. Like it makes me think of the fruit that's actually in, um, I'm trying to think of the specific fruit. It's kind of like a little bit of like that, the cherry Skittle. Um, yeah, like a little bit of like cherry Skittle. That's kind of what it has inside in the middle of it. Hmm. Oh yeah, so good. So nice and oaky, just very balanced. Super, it is low proof, it's 90 proof. So if you're like wanting something with that burn of proof, you're not gonna get that here. This is just incredibly balanced, amazing flavor throughout. The finish is fantastic because on the finish, I get like this really nice, like dark chocolate mixed with some vanilla. And then like this just lightly oakiness that sits in there and maybe even like a creamy orange. Yeah, like a creamy orange, maybe like a, a creamy orange, a chocolate covered orange. That's really, really good. Mm. One more sip here. Oh yeah, it's just fantastic, it really is. It's so like fine and fine, refined, rich, like balanced, um, definitely not too sweet, definitely not too bitter. It's kind of just like right in the middle of, like right where you touch that line of being, I'm gonna think it's bitter, I'm gonna think it's sweet. It teeters that line and it's perfectly balanced. It's actually like, ah like an amazing harmony in your mouth. I love this one. Oh, I can't imagine what this would taste at a higher proof because that would be insane. That would be nuts. Like the way it is right now is perfect. If you like a lower proof, super oaky, creamy, delicious rye, this is it. This is for sure it. It's delicious. I would recommend it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one 
4.25 corks out of 5. It's teetering that line of being 4.25 and 4.5, but I'm going to go with 4.25. Really, really like it. Would definitely recommend it if you, like I said, if you like an oaky rye. Um, and I really think it's a bourbon lover's rye. Like if you are a hardcore bourbon lover and you already like oaky bourbons, I would definitely consider this one because it doesn't taste like spearminty or minty or like that type of ride to me at all. And it's not overly sweet. It's just very, like I said, very balanced. So super recommend this one. I love it. Really, really good. Um, let me know if you've tried it or if you're interested in trying it. And that's what I've got from my review before I start rambling on. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm Dara. I'm your average drinker and I'll see you next time.